Hello. Hello everyone and welcome once again to this channel and we shall be looking at Ghana verbs 4 okay that is the verbs without more suffixes okay so we've looked at the verbs with more suffixes and we continue that lesson so if you are new to this channel this channel is basically about Ghana language learning um, linguistics, the Ga and Dangbe linguistics, Dangbe language learning, and touring Ghana to some extent, and just some general educational video. It's more of education here, okay? So traveling and yeah. So at the moment I'm at Wa, I'm at the Answer Guest House, and yeah, I'm on my. Ghana final Ghana tour because I think this is why is the last place for me to complete Ghana and so I'm here and I've, lo I've uploaded a video a recent video about me visiting the Wa Safari where there were lions hippos and so many more so you can check the video in the description box below so that you can yeah see what went on here yeah there are more clips to come about this is my final trip okay so I said to seize the opportunity to teach you right from here okay yeah so where I am the where I'm lodging is a place with animals there are birds quails all behind me so they are making this noise so kindly understand that it's just there are lots of animals here okay very well so verbs with more surfaces. We've learned in Gan verbs too that the Gan verbs come in two forms. Those with the more and those without the more. So let's just go straight to the point. So let's start from the very basis. Now ba. You know when I tell someone to come, you just say ba, that's all. Come. You don't say ba more or whatever. So ba. So in this case, ba. Is a verb without a more suffix. That's our first example. Ba. You know, so me ba I'm coming. So just as the verb is in the commanding form. That's how you use it in a sentence formation. Okay, so you just use it as raw as it is. So me ba I'm coming. Me ya I'm going. Himba I came. Maba I will come. Okay. Me ba ni mayeni. I'm coming to eat. Me ba ni mayeni. I'm coming to eat. So I hope you get it. So let's take our next verb. Ya. Ya is also a verb without a more suffix. So ya ni oba. More like go and come. Ya ba. Ya ba is a way to say goodbye or farewell. Ya ba. Or genuine. Okay. Then we have yani oyaheni, yani oyaheni, go and buy food, or yaheni. You can say yani oyaheni in the long form, or simply yaheni. Both are said. Now the past tense of ya is te. So maybe ete shia he went home. So ya is more present and te is past. So ete shia he went home or she went home. Ete eya he gali she went to buy gari. Ete eya he gali she went to buy gari. Ete jeme. He went there or she went there okay now we have this verb yeah yeah means to have or to be at so ni yeshika ni has money ni yeshika usually when you mention a name okay when you categorically mention a name the yeah separate from the name but when you use a pronoun they join like maybe oh yeshika you have money I think they join. Oyeshika. 
Oh yeah, no, you have water. Oh yeah, no, you have water. Oh yeah, low floor, you have a bed. Oh yeah, low floor, you have a bed. So if you've not taken a, a lesson yet on the guy articles, do well to look below. You will see more. Click on the more so the description box will open. Then you can take you can just read what the video is about and then take from the description, yes. So okay. In your heko, I'm somewhere. In your heko, I'm somewhere. Hunya ye wa, hunya is at wa. Hunya ye wa, hunya is at wa. Kwechu ye kaneshi, kwechu is at kaneshi, kwechu ye kaneshi, kwechu is at kaneshi. Okay. So ye can mean to be at. Okay. At the same time, ye can also mean to have. So kwechu ye. She and Kwechu has a house. Kwechu, have you seen? Kwechu ye condition. In this case, Kwechu is at condition. The same time, Kwechu ye, she and Kwechu has a house or has a home. So, have you seen now ye can flip meaning based on how you use it? So, just yes, know that in the gun, to say somebody is at, we use ye. To say someone also have or has some social ye. Eye na kwe, it is amazing. It is amazing. AFL, it is beautiful or it is nice. AFL, it is beautiful or it is nice. Now, another verb we have is Jo. Jo, jo means dance. Jo biane, dance now. Jo biane, dance now. Jo ohami, dance for me. Jo ohami, dance for me. Jo Oya dance fast. Jo Oya dance fast. He Jo, I'm not dancing. He Jo, I'm not dancing. If you are confused about negative, just search Ga negatives. I have a full class on it. I have a full course on Ga lessons. It will help you understand everything. In Jo. Eke Ejo, he said he is not dancing, or she says she is not dancing. Eke Ejo, okay. Then we have to. To means jump. To, so. Katu don't jump. Katu don't jump. Katu kwa don't jump at all. Katu kwa don't jump at all. So yes, two was long. The vowel was long, but then when we joined it to the ka, it became short. Some verbs in can behave that way. Okay, some verbs behave that way. So katu kwa. Iyatu, I'm going to jump. Iyatu, this is the short form. Or me ya ni iyatu. Okay, iyatu. Or oh, me and Yatu is too difficult. So let's say me and the matu. That one should be relative for now. Me and the matu. I'm going to jump. Or oh, in Yatu. I'm going to jump. So in the girl language, maybe you want to say in ya me ya ni ma fe. You can simply say in ya fe. So me ya I'm going ni ma fe. I'm going to i'm going and i will do but you can just say i i'm going to do in your feet so you can just do it in the long way or the sh short way they're all the same just that it's all more about convenience maybe me ya ni ma kwe me ya ni ma kwe i'm going to see or simply put in your kwe but kwe is not a verb without kwe has a more suffix so the, the other verb is kwe more okay so i hope this thing now we have four. Four means cut. So four blow do it, cut the bread. Four blow do it, cut the bread. Four to it, cut the stick or cut the tree or cut the wood. Four to it. Four a dang. Mind him. 
or give him attention for a down mind him or mind her or give him attention or give her attention for a down for in down mind me in for that i'm not minding you in for that i'm not minding you for them cross the road for them cross the road for them cross the road for lower cut the meat for lower cut the meat okay so i hope you get it then we have four four means throw or throw it away four so you can just say chair or four throw it away chair or four throw it away you can just say four four is true chair or four throw it away car chair or four don't throw it away car chair or four don't throw it away four ball away throw the ball Four ball lower, throw the ball. But when you say che ball lower or four, it means throw the ball away. So four ball is more like throw the ball, maybe towards me. But che ball lower or four, it's more like throw it away, dispose it, discard it off. So when you use che or four, then perhaps the thing is useless or the thing is not needed. So it needs to be thrown away. Okay, so I hope you get the difference. Four lawyer, throw it fast. Four lawyer, throw it fast. Car for the oya, don't throw it fast. Car for the oya, don't throw it fast. Then, then we have a way of saying cry. Cry is full, full cry. Me full, I'm crying. Me full. I'm crying. Oh, fo, you are crying. Oh, fo, you are crying. A e fo, he or she is crying. A e fo, he or she is crying. Okay. O ba fo, you will cry. O ba fo, you will cry. A e fo, ye, yala shishi. Yalashishi's funeral. So a fo ye yalashishi. Okay, yala means funeral by yalashishi. At the funeral, yalashishi at the funeral or during the funeral. So yala funeral, yalashishi during the funeral. So a fo ye he cried or she cried during the funeral. If we yalashishi, so he or she cried at the funeral. So in the Ghana, when you say shishi, it means. When you add shish into your life, it means the funeral is taking place. Okay. Literally, funeral under. He cried as the funeral under. That is a literal translation. So he cried during the interment or the funeral event. So maybe Joe is dance. Okay. Or celebration. Or a celebration of dance. So Joe Shishin. As uh, an event where people are dancing. So when you add shish. To maybe so, and now it means the event is taking place. So maybe near near shishi, a foye near near shishi. That means they are serving food somewhere, and the event is taking place. Okay, so I believe you get the basic idea. Ni femo means party. Ni femo shishi. The as the party, when the party is taking place. Okay, so a tiny famous she he went to the party. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So to move on, let's say let's say do do means plant. Do me plant a seed or plant something. Do me me do cho I'm planting a tree. Me do cho. Me do abele. I'm planting maize. Me do paya. I'm planting pear. Me do akbakba. I'm planting popo. The Americans who call popo papaya. They will call pear avocado. You know, we Ghanaians, we use the British English. So we don't really use papaya. And yeah, so okay. 
So me do mango. I'm planting mango. Okay. Um. So it goes on and on. Do le oya plant it fast. Do le oya. Do ni waya plant so we go. Plant or plant it then we go. Do ni waya is it can be plant so we go or plant it then we go. You can check ga post pop, uh, positions one and two and you'll get the understanding from there. Do ni waya. Kadu don't plant it. Kadu don't plant it. Okay. Yeah. So it goes on and on and on and on. So let's take some few verbs and then we just call it this thing we have sa in in among the Ghana people or among most Ghanaians we have this range okay where we put herbs in it and then we insert it to the <laughs> through the bat okay through through the bat okay then they squeeze this liquid to cleanse the stomach yeah most people have stopped doing it but it used to be popular way back so that action of cleaning the stomach through the insertion of a syringe through the um bat okay it's called sa so me sa i'm cleaning my stomach okay i'm cleaning my stomach uh, oh sa you are cleaning your stomach so sa to clean the stomach for to give birth okay so a four she gave birth or she has given birth a four a four b no he gave birth to a male child a four b no a four b you she gave birth to a female child okay so um yeah yeah is it so yeah ni eat yeah omo eat rice ye, um yeah abele eat maize Ye are um ye atia eat cashew nut ye mango eat mango and it goes on and on and on okay so far is also to remove so far ked shikwon remove it from the ground ked means from shikwon means ground so far ked shikwon remove it from the ground so i hope you understand it if you have any questions do not shy away from taking it from from commenting it in the comment box below um if you want to contact me okay my number is on the screen yeah you can take it from there and yeah so we'll pause here for now if anything i will listen so expect ga verse 5 okay it's also coming up shortly then ga verse 6 about habitual markets okay thank you very very much and yeah you are done go go